we're going to show you how we came up with a solution for all this problem because this has been a disaster. For $25, we're going to transform and double the space in our RV closet. That's my closet. Right now, it looks like this. It's pretty boring and pretty basic, but we're going to get some shelves in here and make it a little more custom. I'm thinking we're going to... We've made some progress in here. Three shelves on each side, and we're going to put the bar right there. Now, while we were doing that, I started looking at these cabinets thinking, man, they need an update. So I went ahead and did a paint job, an update. Oh, dang. What in the heck is Leela doing this time? And it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. It was only like four hours. At one point, I'm like, I see this kind of piece of tape, and I pull it. Guys, this is like, this is the outside of the cabinet. It was like this tape stuff. That, that That's what the RV is made of. Trevor, why does this make me so giddy to show this? This was a bit of work. We took our closet, which was one big rod, and we turned it from that into that, that much hanging space. And people would almost think you're crazy that you took away hanging space, except by taking away the hanging space, we were able to double the closet space that we have. Also behind here, I have bundled up like some of our rain gear and different things like this. And this is one of the tricks. What I love about rubber bands is if you have something in a drawer, and especially if you have little kids and they're pulling their stuff out, probably in an RV or whatever, you're gonna pull, when they pull everything out, it feels like it just explodes. Well, if you take and rubber band their outfits together, just like that, when they pull it out, so yeah, they might have it all over, but at least it'll be rubber banded together and keeps it a little less from flooding out of there. So I do that. I like to do that with some of our, like our rain jackets and some of our other small jackets. And what's great is when I, when I fold them and flatten them like this, they actually fit in the back of the closet and I like to be resourceful. So instead of going out and buying a brand new pole, we actually took the old pole that we had, which had gotten painted and it was horribly ugly. If we peeled it off, underneath was that clean, perfect pole, which I like better. We just reused the hardware, cut the rod down and made it smaller and made it one third of the closet size. These big white plastic hangers didn't quite work. They're too, they're a little fat. These are from Ikea. Now, I haven't been able to find them again in Ikea. Um, it went on Ikea.com, so you can just keep checking, but they're a little bit shorter. They hang a little bit differently and they're flat. So these are perfect RV hangers. One of the top rules with organization is what works for you. Now, I'm gonna show you my side and then I'll show you Trevor's side because it's adapted to what both of us like. Here is my side of the closet now. Now, instead of just having all these things crammed in here, and literally I could not fit all of these things into this space, now I have three dividers. Now I like things in baskets, and so I know that inside of here, these are dresses, these are more summer clothes and summer dresses that I have in here. And because of that, I like to roll them and like I like to stack them like this. I'll just kind of show you, everything is kind of rolled in here and then sandwich. And I like to do it definitely according to color schemes. So it kind of has a flow to it. I really like that. These are my workout clothes. These are summer tank tops and shorts. And behind here, I can fit in some of my shoes. So I can kind of slide some of my shoes in. Now, ideally, if you don't wear size 12 shoes like I do, you might be able to fit two pairs back to back I just have really large feet, so they just don't work. One of the biggest things that I learned by living full-time in an RV was how little I could live with. And as a result, I pared my clothing way, way down. I kept paring my clothing down and then paring my clothing down and paring my clothing down. And not even that long ago, what was it? Like six or seven bags that I thought, I don't even have that much clothing. But now I have it pared down to really only the things that I absolutely, absolutely love. I'm great at returning things. If I don't, if I bring it in, I try it on and I go, oh, it looks cute. But if I don't love it, I just return it. Now, I typically would at some times maybe put a label on this, on the, the basket to identify what's in here. Because this is kind of a rotating for the different seasons, I try to keep most of this as more of my off season clothing and I use the drawer for things that are, now, and we're in a funny season right now. We are between winter 
spring and summer. So it's kind of that transitional period. So right now this is really more kind of winter and some of the sweatshirts. So even sweatshirts and things are rolled up and there's that same vertical method that I use in here. And then this side I use for all the things that I pack while I'm traveling. I mean, I do have some socks and underwears and things, but inside here is my, some of my, my night stands things that I use, my chargers, my stand for my phone. One of the things that I absolute to me is a necessity if you are in a small space, and it's these bamboo dividers. You can take any huge drawer like this, I mean, everything would just shift around, and you could divide, you can make them as big or as wide as you want. Now, there's ones that are skinnier and ones that are fatter, and basically it just depends on what's going to work best for your drawer. For this one, we actually have the fatter ones because our drawer is taller, so you just want to note that they do come in different sizes. You just stick them in and you make these little divisions in your drawer. So it makes this drawer instead of one big massive drawer that's a mess, now I can subdivide this. The more you divide, the more you categorize and the more you keep it simple to what works for you, your easier it's gonna to be to maintain. One of the other things that we do utilize was baskets and we use every single space that we possibly can. One of the spaces right here, like right now I know that down here, this is all winter gear. This is our hats, our gloves, all of those types of things that are all inside of this container. In the middle one is my pajamas. <laughs> I can do it without even looking. Plus, since I only have a few pairs of pajamas and we are in winter, I keep my hiking boots in here. And on the last one is our portable heater or our portable fan, depending on season, and it's our house slippers that are in there. Using that idea of dividing the space, because this is one big humongous space up here. So we have these baskets and that's where measuring everything will come into play. So it's easy for me because I know that inside here, right here, and I keep closest to me, is something that I'm gonna get to more often. It's winter season, I have my thick socks in here. Um, during the summer, we may rotate these out. Um, and put something else, yet I can also keep more in here if I wanted to. In the other baskets, I just have underclothing and some of my workout clothes in there. When we first picked up this RV, everything was a disaster. Um, we renovated the RV. You can see the full round one of renovations in that video over there. There was a big dresser thing here and I absolutely hated it. Trevor kept saying, we need to keep that. We got to replace it. Um, everyone's like, you're going to miss all the drawers. Do not miss it one bit. Trevor thought it was crazy when I bought my decorative table in. That thing weighs 700 pounds. It does not and weigh 700 to, pounds. And you cannot travel with it. There, we have to flip it onto the bed. Okay, look, this is what we do. Watch your back. There, done. We're packed up for the trip. But I love it because I have space over here. That's all I need. You saw my little space inside the drawer with all the little things on there. Plus next to my bed and that's what you got to look for is little spaces is i can fit two of these underneath there for anything that i might need sometimes i'll keep reading material or different things in here it just depends on what i'm doing but they just slide right here i don't have to move them they're hidden they're pretty and i love them i don't know about you but i've become obsessed with organizing and a couple of people that i follow is organized simply we love her and the folding lady, oh my gosh, I'm just fascinated. Now the folding lady is unreal, but follow both of them on Instagram. Now we are on Trevor's side and Trevor hates baskets. Baskets suck, it's one extra layer. Why do I have to touch one more thing to get to my things? So are you team Leela with baskets? Are you team Trevor with shelves and folding? Go ahead and comment below. Also, if you have any ideas or updates that we could add to this let us know we'd love to hear from you see and i don't know I, I i like them i like the organization but trevor likes his things folded and on shelves like that and honestly if it works and he enjoys it it works for him the great part is we have so much extra space in here um by doubling and adding these two shelves and literally that one side wall we have doubled what we can put in here. If you can imagine all of this hanging in the same amount of space, there is no way. And I let Trevor do his own folds. He's got a way that he likes to fold things. Like that. 
and that. And you put this in the middle, then you have no floppies in the wind. Seems logical. Does that work or no? I fold things a little different because I'm, and I'm the one that typically folds, does the laundry, but I like to fold them in, flip and flip. She folds water. I still, I've tried that. She did that when we were dating. I'm like, let me try that. It's yeah. like folding water. It's not possible. And here's Trevor's side of the bed. If you remember when we did the reno, we had this custom built in side here for Trevor. What I love about this is it's a lot smaller than was originally there. So there's more breathing space right here. There's, there's room to use this. He's got a nice drawer in here where he keeps his glasses, his chargers, all of that. There's also space down here for another basket, which he can keep whatever in there, books or, you know, anything that he wants in there. At the top, um, this is where I know to get my secret stash of extra socks. It's right here. Oh yeah, right here. Yep, the socks are all in there. And then Trevor's other personal items that are up there. And next to the side of Trevor's bed, there is space that's a lot of times he'll put his backpack and his laptop in there. But I must admit right now, there is a space that I haven't finished in this bedroom. I'm sitting on it and it's underneath the bed. So we are currently working on some solutions for underneath the bed. To see how the under the bed update comes out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. To see what this started before we had done any organizations, go ahead and click that video where we work with our professional organizer. We can't wait to share our adventures with you.